What's up YouTube? Shane here. I'm out tonight with Dorian and Keegan. We're in our hot tent as you can tell. Um, got the stove going. We've got some drinks. Gonna party our butts off. We've got some milk. Cutting some wood over here as you can tell. It's kind of my little cutting area over here. My little chopping area. Got the cot up here and the way I've got the kids situated. I'll show you guys all that later on. It's dark. Um, it's probably about 65 degrees in here right now, but I'm getting it warmer because when we were getting everything set up, I got the tent going really nice and hot, and I still had to bring stuff in from the car, so, yeah, but we're having a good time. We're getting situated here and staying nice and warm. It's 20 degrees out Fahrenheit, so it's a little chilly, so we're getting food on right now. All right, good morning, everybody, and welcome to our hot tent. <laughs> so this is the hot tent from, or this is actually the TP tent from Ozark Trail. Bought it at Walmart, $49, and uh, we ordered the stove jack right there for another $32, $33 uh, from, I believe it was Bear Paw Outfitters. I'll put a link down. Uh, below but been super happy with it I'll take you guys on the inside in just a minute the only one complaint I've had about this tent was one of the guy lines pulled off I'm just gonna run a grommet through there and then I'll just do the same to all those other than that the tent so far has held up good now when I bought this tent <clears throat> it stayed up in my yard for a month and a half I waterproofed it and then we let it set we let it set up, we let it stretch out, and we just really kind of watched it. We put all of our stuff on the inside, and we watched it to see how well it would maintain the weather because we had uh, rain and then ice, and then we got hit with nine inches of snow, and it did great. did a really, really, really good job. The only issue I had was I did not have the guy lines out, so right underneath here, um, the tent had kind of folded down a little bit and there was ice stuck to the outside of the tent Which caused a little bit of condensation on the inside, but that was my own fault for For not having the guy lines out. You can see when the guy lines are out. They pulled the tent nice and tight But other than my own personal air no issues. I think I would like to see I'm probably going to have to do it Excuse our garbage bag, but Gotta take out what you bring in so a flap right here likes to get stuck in the zipper if you're in a hurry. <laughs> I think that maybe putting some thick material on it might help. I'm not really sure. It's just kind of flaps around there a little bit. But maybe putting some webbing on here might add some weight to it or some thickness to it. 
because it's supposed to stick in like that, but once the tent's been all nice and warm and cozy, it not an issue. Now I did not have, as you can tell, there's no condensation all over the tent. You can see that, it's, it's dry. Um, last night it got a little, just a little damp uh, right here, but that was just because last night it got into the 20s. Right now it's about 35, 36 degrees, and uh, it's doing great. I'll bring you guys in, show you what you, we got going on on the inside. All right, well, here is the inside of our hot tent. I am, I'm standing up all the way. Plenty of room to go, I'm 5'10". Uh, the reason why we got this tent, or the reason why I opted to get this tent, was because of this Y shape that you see here. Comes all the way down there behind where Dorian is at. And it sets, and the reason why we wanted that was because it gave us this nice open area where we can lay and nothing's really bothering us. And then we can come over here and we have our food. That's kind of our little kitchen area, little wood processing area. I'm sleeping up here on a cot and I'm up here on a cot like this. And the boys have their feet going under me. And on the ground, we're using Reflectix. And what that does is that helps just maintain all the heat in here for us. Keegan made a bow. It was all wet and he wet formed it, so it's kind of cool. It's Dorian's <laughs> pickaxe. We've been using for the stove a lot, haven't we, Dorian? Yeah, you stole it from me. And Keegan's machete. his machete, more like a kukri, but definitely a machete. That thing's a monster, huh? So we're staying nice and warm in here. It's cold outside and it's probably well I mean we're in our shirt sleeves they don't actually need to be they don't need to be in their uh, sleeping bags but they are Keegan we have feathers all over us Sorry. If you look if you look close <laughs> look at cl close at Keegan's shirt in my hair and Dorian's hair we we sprung a leak in his down sleeping bag so we're gonna have to get him another one it's not something that could be sewn it's probably about the second rip and it's this, just gonna be time to get him a new one too. I'm gonna look for something like this one tigress that I have here. This is a, this is a nice sleeping bag. Uh, my only problem with this sleeping bag is the zipper kind of sucks. So I'm uh, I'm right-handed, but for some reason, right-handed. We're getting in and out with my right side of a sleeping bag. I don't know. It's just it's I don't know. I'm a right-handed, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we've got some got some tea brewing. And I've got a mix of hot cocoa for the guys. They're going to enjoy. It's going to make it out of They snow. opted to not want... I was going to make breakfast. I actually have French toast. I have this French toast with this really thick bread here. I was going to make. But they don't want French toast. So I always bring a backup every time we go out of soup. So they want soup. <laughs> Which is fine. I have this one. We have a movie that our tablet died on us last night that we were watching. So we're going to uh, finish watching the last part of the movie we were watching and enjoy that. And uh, really, we're just going to sit here and drink some coffee and, and tea and hot cocoa. And then we're going to have to head out because we've got... Haircuts. Haircuts today. Yeah, my dad got to work. I don't have to work today. Yeah? Mm, not today. Getting a cool haircut. Yeah, he's getting a cool haircut. The boys and I were talking. Um, you know, we haven't really put put out a lot of videos. We've been camping and stuff, but we just haven't really posted a lot of stuff. I think we're just kind of trying to just hang out and do our thing, enjoy it. But we've decided that we're going to start doing some more videos, and they, they want to do some reviews of some stuff, and they get lots of gear to try out. And I think it's cool always to buy them new things that they're going to use and it excites me when I see them using it but today they're both using uh, new or last night they did they're both using new sleeping pads um, Dorian is using a green lightweight pad from Unigear. Unigear and Keegan is using a lightweight pad from TNH Outdoors now Keegan had another pad which they replaced it with this one 
and it was uh, the ultralight from TNH and one side of the, the chamber just went flat. And when I went to go put it in the bathtub with some soap, there were just leaks on all the seams. I contacted TNH right away and they sent me this pad. So far, how, how is it, Keegan? So far, it, it's good, he said. Um, Dorian's sleeping pad from this Unigear it's pretty awesome, but we're gonna go and they're gonna do a review over those and just kind of learn, you know, learn about doing reviews or just showing off because you know it's not really a review. It's kind of, I don't know, I guess. Not showing off. No, well, showing your gear off, not showing off like, hey, look at me. <laughs> but I wouldn't really even say they're reviews. So you can't really do a product review until you really run it through the ringers. But they could be like a first look or kind of a look into this type of gear. Because there's there's too many people out there that just they get something they take it one time they use it and they're like oh this is great I swear by it and then the next time it just falls apart and it's garbage so we're not about that business we like to use our stuff and we like to use it a lot and stainless steel we use it until it's not good at all we use it until it's not good at all we like stainless steel and we like titanium Dorian likes stainless steel Keegan and I like titanium in fact if you look at this. Dorian's canteen cup right there is stainless steel. He's he's not a, a titanium fan like we are. So he likes stainless steel and yep, and there's Keegan's, his is titanium. Titanium if you have hot drinks, the titanium gets hot too. Oh it does, yeah it does. And then oh, it geez, loses. That's why I like that's why I like stainless steel. It doesn't get hot. It doesn't oh on your progress. lips, is that what you mean? Yeah, it doesn't progress the heat. Oh my gosh, I slept so good. So what do you guys think about using this uh, Reflectix on the floor? Well, oh, it's good. It keeps um, us warm. You know, if not, if we did cut on it, it'd probably be good. Well, we have a chopping block over here that we <laughs> use, and we get splinters of wood. I had a uh, pallet. A machine came in at work and I pulled the machine I pulled the pallet apart and they said I could keep all the wood so I have like a box of four by fours which was great. I cut them down to six inch lengths. I figured we're gonna come out here and hang out and have a good time. We're not gonna stress it, especially going to an area that we might not be familiar with looking for wood. So So we have we have all this good food and we have our drinks and then I have my adult drink. But the thing is is today was all about just just hanging out and enjoying hot tent camping and experiencing it and you know, whatever. Whatever. I want some tea.